Welcome to my second channel, guys. This is an exclusive video coming straight for you guys on my second channel. In no shape, way, or form is this going to be on my main channel. But here is the question, did I just buy a new boat? Well, the answer is one, no, and two, no. For one, it's not exactly new. It's a couple years old, and I've actually had it for two years. And the other question is, did I buy it? No, I didn't really buy it either. It's my dad's, so yeah. Hmm. Kind of a bummer there. But nevertheless, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and show it off to you today. I don't know why in the world I pulled it out of the garage. I have no intentions of going fishing today whatsoever, or at least at a lake anyhow. I mean, everything in the world's flooded right now, so if you try to go in the lake, you're probably going to get washed down the dam or something. Yeah, not exactly a good idea. But like I just said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I pulled the boat out out handy hand. What that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a real quick tour. This here is a Ranger 188 VS. It's 18 feet and 8 inches long. Now, what does the VS stand for? I have no clue. All right here on the back, we got a 150 Mercury Optimax. Don't really know anything about boat motors, but that's all you're going to get. You know, I mean, it's got it's got a place where you can put gas in it. Got some nice kicks on its feet. Got a good little good looking trailer. Got a trolling motor. This here's a mini, I don't know. It's a 70 pound. I don't know anything about boats, guys. I'm sorry. I am not exactly a boat guy. All I know about boats is how to fish off of them, and I'm not even good at that. I mean, it's got that little wheel thing, so I can pull it up on the boat and everything. Now, I can show you a little bit more about what's on the inside. I mean, it's a, it's a single console wheel which is good because it can go fast. It's got two seats. That one right there flips up just in case you have a third person. Back here, it comes with two rib bones that actually came with the boat. Always got like... <laughs> Chickens, no one asked you for your opinion. But back to the rib bone. Yeah, that's probably my favorite part. Back there, I got my life jacket and my dad's life jacket. There's the big net. Now, let me sit down and show you a little bit more about what I'm looking at whenever I'm driving. Okay, there's the thingy. You do that. It's got a hot foot. It's got a 7-inch Lowrance fish finder right here. I'll be honest, guys. This fish finder, it doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't exactly have a ton of features, but that's why I have this one right here that I put back there with me. So, this is another 7-inch fish finder, so nothing huge or anything. But it actually does it a little bit more. It has side scan and structure scanner whatever you want to call it a little dusty because i'm not using it in about six months but still it's an 899 hd and then i got that fish finder it's the same exact one that's back there on the console it really doesn't do anything but just tell you what's directly under the boat as for the trolling motor you know you just come up here and press a little foot thing it's not exactly the most fancy boat in the world but it gets the job done it has a huge deck for an 18 foot boat though huge deck i mean i could probably throw a dance party up here comment below if you want to see it i've actually been thinking about it a little bit now let's get into the compartments then right here this is where i stand whenever I, well i stand up there but this is basically where I work whenever I'm fishing. Right down there, big things happening under there. Big things happening under here. Big things happening there. Not much there because that's cooler and I don't know. We just don't eat a lot when we're fishing. Now we're going into my rod locker here. Now this is where all my rods are. I don't have a lot, guys. I have, uh, I think, seven bait casters and three spinning reels, so ten rod and reels completely. And to be honest, guys, I only use about five of them. I can't use them all at once. Well, most of the time I use about five of them. There's other days where I'll use all ten. But I'm not going to show you too much about what's in here, but if you want to see a rod real arsenal comment below guys this is my second channel you guys are going to dictate what happens here this right here is one of my favorite rods of real it's a scott martin series okuma rod and then just a loose speed spool and then you see the rod sock now this in here is a blue and white rod sock if you look at the tip, oh snap, is that KG branded? Oh, I think it is. Well, too bad, guys. You're not getting them right now. You're going to have to wait till early April. But yeah, for real, guys, right now I've got black and blue and both spinning and bait cast, but they're not available yet. You'll just have to wait and see. Now, whenever you look in here, you'll see that most of them are black, but there's only about three of them that are actually blue. And I know what you're saying. Kendall, dude, I know there's a secret coding. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go get these chickens out of the garage. Hey, who told you you could get in there? Get out of there. I don't know who made these chickens, boss, but I sure didn't. Hey, hey, get out. Get out of here. Get out of my garage, dude. Get out of here. Who told you, you Who told you could do that? Get out of here, Cleveland. You too, Gary. Goodness. But back to the rod sock colorations. Why are three of them blue, but the other seven black? And really all it is, is I've decided that the three blue ones are the ones I'm going to be using the most. Therefore, whenever it's early at a tournament or something, I can just reach in there, get the three blue ones, and put them out on the front deck to start with. Now we're shutting the rod box. Now let's get on back here. There's some really cool stuff in this box that I'm actually going to release for you guys today. And it is a game changer. So let's go ahead, pull this one up. Oh yeah, baby, that's what we're looking at. In this little area, I put my frog togs up here. That's mine and my dad's frog togs in case it randomly starts raining like it likes to do in Kentucky. And then over there, I got my swim baits. Those are just the hard ones, like the BioSpawn Exo Swims that have the hard container right there. And then I have the rest of my soft plastics right there. Swim bait, big worm. 
Right there. What's that say? Strawberry shortcut? No, straight tail worms. And then here you got special teams, crawls, and cinkos and flips. And I know what you're saying. Kiddo, dude, those bags look awesome. What are they? Well, guess what? They're KG fishing bags. Well, they're KG. Ah, why the door keep shutting on me? Get up there, buddy. Who told you you could do that? But they're KG fishing bags, man. Originally designed to be boat bags, just like I'm using them today to put soft plastics in, all that good stuff. I can just reach in here, rip them open, kind of, reach in there, get whatever I want. Anything I want in there, that's where it is. And I made it special with this little clear thing so that you can slide in words in there so that you can easily distinct them whenever you're quick and fishing on a tournament if i'm looking for a fluke all i gotta do is look in here over here's flukes get in there get it i'm good to go now these are up on the site right now they're called the app the all-purpose pack and the reason is because yeah they were originally designed just for this but then i actually tested them during deer hunting season and they actually worked perfectly as a lunch box so i just decided to call them an all-purpose pack i mean if we're gonna be honest these packs can be used for everything but now we're gonna shut the door on that one there's only about one more compartment that has anything in it all and this is mainly my hard baits and anything that goes in these boxes i'll just reach in here and pull out a few random ones here's one you know just got some spinner baits in it just simple this one over here's got crank baits in it square bills just basically stuff like that a little bit of everything in all those different boxes and then down in there it's just a mess of a bunch of random miscellaneous pieces of metal that i don't know what to do with and that's basically the boat tour but anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe because you may not be subscribed to this channel. This is actually Kindle Grade 2. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to start posting a lot more fishing, purely bass fishing related stuff on this channel. So if you're a true bass fisherman, just go on down, hit the subscribe button, and go ahead and join Kindle Grade 2 gang, I guess. Okay, bye.